In this video I will compare these two G-Shocks, um, they are all black and this is the GST S100, this came out I think in 2017, so it's a pretty old watch, I think this was kind of the first G-Steel uh, G-Shock and this is the GST B400, this is 2021. First of all the size is pretty different. If you see, uh, I think this is above 52 millimeters and this is only 46.6. That's a big difference on the case. The thickness, I believe this is over 16 and this is only 12.9. You can see there the difference. The design style is, is similar, but this one has evolved a lot because you can see the angles on the case, how nice they are. Uh, right now in the 2021 against the first uh, version of the G-Shock and now also uh, Casio likes to put the battery indicator like in, with the spinning wheel but look at the size from the the, the side uh, this doesn't kind of look like a toy compared to this one so if you are going for big watches this one, I mean, it's a 52 millimeters, but it doesn't really wear as a 52. It wears much nicer. I mean, 52 is a monster, but it doesn't wear that big. The dial in this one, I prefer it. Uh, it kind of reflects the light better. Uh, this has a lot of plastic, I think, that doesn't um, reflect the light uh, quite good. The legibility is much worse on this one like everything is more blacked out um, I don't have a problem uh, but uh, I think a lot of people look for legibility like even the hands are darker on this one so these are not the, well, at least this is not the best for legibility the hour markers are black in both they are really nice watches. Uh, I'm going to put it in the, on the wrist and see. By the way, today I'm wearing the Citizen Diver. So first, let's do a quick wrist shot here. Uh, I'm going to turn the wrist on the GSTB 400. Really sophisticated um, design from Casio. Very clear crystal, as you can see. We are at an angle and we can still see the dial. Very nice one. Nice thing uh, band. Okay, so here is the GST S100. Again, really nice. It doesn't wear that that big. It doesn't wear like a 52. Nice band too. It doesn't taper that much. It's much wider. All right. Really nice watch, I mean, for being the first G-Steel, I think they really did a perfect job on the on the first release. Really nice, let me put it uh, side by side. Okay, so here are side by side. Again, the thickness um, is very, very different. Much thicker on the S100. Both have a red accent, but the but, but this one has way more red accents. Both are super nice. Uh, which one I'll, I'll prefer? I don't know. Depends if you like. This wears uh, kind of small. But if you like big watches, I mean, this one, I mean, from far away, they look the same, you know? I mean, the carbon bezel on this one, this one is just plastic. But it's plastic, but it really works well with the design. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye.